The potential for green spaces to play positive roles in relation to human health and well-being was the focus of the Green Health Project, a collaboration between the James Hutton Institute and the Universities of Glasgow, Edinburgh and Heriot-Watt and Biomathematics and Statistics Scotland. We found evidence of links between the quantity of green space and perceived stress and mental well-being. For example, studying cortisol patterns in a sample of middle-aged men and women not in work, we found that more urban green space is associated with lower levels of self-reported stress, with green space having a more positive effect on regulating stress in women than in men. Increasing the amount of accessible green space in urban areas can offer significant benefits for mental health from reducing stress levels and increasing well-being for some residents in deprived communities, especially those who spend more time around the home and in areas where there's currently little green space available. The regular use of green space also appears good for mental health, with those who use green spaces for physical activity having lower risks of poorer mental health than those using non-natural environments, such as gyms or in the street. So, helping people to become and to stay regular users of green spaces could be a useful means of protecting and enhancing mental health. However, it's important to balance demands between users to ensure that the well-being benefits to some groups are not achieved at the expense of others. Potential approaches to this include subdividing green spaces to provide more compatible services, such as areas for peace and escape and others for active sport and play, whilst being aware of wider enhancements of ecological and physical connectivity in the context of green infrastructure. Volunteer organisations and friends groups help foster wider public responsibility for maintaining our local environments. Indeed, pub people are recognising green spaces as an asset and have interests in being able to take greater responsibility for their management for local benefits. Public policies such as the land use strategy in Scotland and those on biodiversity, planning and community planning and the mitigation and adaptation of climate change now make links with human health and well-being and green space. These can then be drivers for the delivery of positive environments for health and well-being that will shape our places of the future. The Green Health Project then has provided new scientific evidence which recognises the psychosocial dimension of the relationship between people and their surroundings. New means of engagement with communities and evidence which shows the importance of ecological public health, which links human health and well-being to that of wider ecosystems.